first time ever. Warning act of terror. Unexpected. We are ready to engage with a two-state solution. Some of his most senior cabinet members. The drivers of a new economic age. strategy brief today we are going to talk in depth about INS Mahe India's new anti-submarine warfare vessel and why its commissioning is a big deal for Indian Navy India's maritime security and even the doctrine of coastal defense now India is certainly increasing and focused on strengthening its literal or shallow water naval capabilities and that means defending and operating in the areas close to the coast where larger warships may not always be effective. So under the Atmanirbhar Bharat Self-Reliant India Initiative, the Indian Navy is pushing hard to build more of the critical naval assets domestically. The Mahe class is part of a larger plan Eight anti-submarine warfare shallow water crafts ASW, SWC are being built by Cochin Shipyard Limited, CSL. Let's talk about what is this INS actually all about, its size, propulsion and the design features. So let's understand the length and the displacement. Now, Mahe is all about 78 meters long. It's, it displaces roughly 1100 tons, making it compact yet powerful for its role. The propulsion it uses a diesel engine plus water jet propulsion system. Now that's certainly significant because water jet gives better maneuverability especially in shallow waters. This configuration helps to reduce noise which is critical for anti-submarine operations because submarines are very sensitive to sound. So the maximum speed is 25 knots, the cruising range about 1800 nautical miles at 14 knots. What is the endurance? It can stay out for up to 14 days without refueling. The complement is about 60 personnel including officers and sailors and that's what the crew is all about. It has a draft under 3 meters which lets it operate effectively in coastal and constrained littoral zones. It's certainly indigenous and the content, strategic autonomy, more than 80% of INS Mahe components are made in India and that makes it indigenous. So according to some reports, up to 90% indigenous content is also aimed in certain subsystems. So the ship is built under DET Norske Veritas DNV standards, which means it meets international quality and safety benchmarks. So this high level of domestic production underscores India's progress in naval architecture design, integration, and industrial defense capability. It also reduces dependence on foreign suppliers for critical warship systems. INS Mahe is not just fast, it's smart and lethal. What are the key systems that are included? Sonar systems, it is equipped with a hull mounted sonar optimized for anti-submarine warfare likely also has a variable depth sonar or similar to detect submarines at different depths which is typical for ASW that shallow water ships let's understand the radar and electronic systems a multi-function surveillance radar helps with surface monitoring and even for situational awareness it also integrates the electronic support measures ESM or electronic warfare suit 
to detect and possibly counter the enemy emissions. Let's understand the combat management. It has a modern combat management system on board, enabling sensor fusion, combining data from sonar, radar, etc. for faster decision making. So here's how Mahe plans to neutralize underwater and coastal threats. Torpedoes equipped with lightweight acoustic homing torpedoes which are ideal for engaging the submarines. ASW rocket launches. It carries multifunctional functional anti-submarine rocket launchers giving it a reach to launch rockets underwater or into the sea to target subs. Now mine laying, laying capability, the ship has mine rails meaning it can deeply anti-submarine mines in key maritime zones for area denial. It's certainly close in defense of 30 millimeter remote weapon station is on board for self-defense, possibly lighter guns or machine guns for additional layered defense. Now, what will INS Mai actually do in or during the deployment? The primary role is going to be anti-submarine warfare, ASW Mahe is Mahe is purpose built to detect, track and neutralize submarines in coastal littoral waters. These are the zones where diesel electron electric submarines which are quieter often operate. Then coastal patrol and surveillance, it will conduct routine patrols along India's coast, keeping an eye on underwater activity, intrusions, or even suspicious movements. Now mine warfare with its mine laying capability, it can also deploy mines in strategic choke points, protecting key sea lanes or denying access in certain zones. SAR search and rescue due to its maneuverability and shallow water design, it can be used for search and rescue missions in the coastal regions. Slow intensify maritime operations, that's LIMO. These are operations that don't involve full scale war, but counter piracy, fisheries, protect fish, fisheries protection, maritime security tasks. Mahe is designed to handle these operations effectively. What is the strategic importance? Why is INS Mahe is commissioning a big deal? Or, and that to geopolitically and operationally. Now, literal threats in the Indian Ocean region, IOR, submarine threats, particularly from diesel electric subs, is real. Shallow watercraft like Mahe are ideal to counter these threats near coasts. Then, force multiplication, being small, stealthy, and agile. Mahi class vessels complement larger warships or destroyers by doing the dirty work in the shoal waters. Then the maritime domain awareness with more assets like Mahi, the Indian Navy can maintain better surveillance of its maritime approaches, sea lanes and critical shipping routes, especially near its western and eastern seaboards. Now indigenization and self-reliance with over 80 to 90 percent domestic content. This marks a progress in building not just ships but even the broader defense industrial ecosystem, shipyards, sensors and torpedoes and electronics. Now the ability to hunt submarines close to home increases India's deterrence credibility uh, potential adversaries will also think now twice before deploying subs in shallow or in the contested zones operational agility when we see ships like Mahe help reduce the response time for submarine threats because they are optimized for shallow water they can deploy quickly turn fast and operate where larger ships 
might be constrained is perfect mahe also comes with some challenges let's break this down as well limited size means certain trade offs at 1100 tons and 78 meters mahe is compact that means limited space for very large sensors large weapon loads or long deployments the maintenance and sustainment when we talk about even though it's domestic maintaining high tech sonar torpedo systems and a water jet propulsion system requires consistent industrial support and the supply chains vulnerability in coastal waters threats include not just submarines but fast attack craft missiles and drones so mahi must not be able to defend itself or even call for backup the crew load with about 60 personnel operations on board have to be efficient crew fatigue watch rotations and logistics of prolonged deployment could be a challenge which has to be considered much before then cost and scale up while the first of eight is commissioned the full class needs to be built maintained and integrated with the navy's broader asw network budget shipyard capability capacity and the resource allocation also matters future outlook eight ship class mahe is the lead vessel over the coming years the remaining seven asw shallow water craft will join significantly augmenting india's coastal asw grid the integrated operations mahe class ships will likely operate in coordination with maritime the patrol aircraft mpa helicopters and even the larger warships forming layered asw task group so given its modular design future variants it may receive upgraded sonar new torpedoes or improved combat systems as domestic technology improves expect mahe and its sister ships to be deployed in strategically sensitive areas such as near choke points port approaches or in the arabian sea to guard against submarine infiltration so at the end to just wrap it up iris mahe is not just another warship it's certainly a strategic symbol of india's naval ambitions and its growing industrial self reliance with a compact but capable design high indigenous content and missions tailored to the literal maritime environment mahe is well suited to tackle modern under sea threats its induction will significantly enhance india's capacity for coastal defense underwater surveillance and anti submarine warfare boosting the deterrence and reinforcing india's position as a maritime power in the indian ocean i hope you find this video informative i'll see you in the next video jai hind and jai bharat